So with all these cut out, all I've got to do now is weld them into the floor here. So I've made a little bit of a boo-boo with, uh, with the brake pedal. The brake pedal seems to be hitting here when I put it all the way down to the floor. It's only hitting it by a little bit, but what I'm going to do is cut a big square out of here, flatten this piece, and re-weld it back in. There will obviously be some side bits here and a side piece that will go in here as well. It'll be shaped to this, but, but backwards. And after cutting that out and making up a cardboard template, I think this is what it's going to look like. As you can see, it's just recessed a little bit there. I've even given enough room for the accelerator pedal just to dip in there as well. Now to make it out of steel and weld it all together. So with all these cut out, all I've got to do now is weld them into the floor here. And there's a few tacks of weld, just holding it all together. It's time to weld this completely up now. And with the wonder of video, that's all welded up. It's looking really good. And there's the other side. Isn't this a marvelous shape? All I've got to do now is drill a hole up in there for the steering column to come through. Here I have a photograph of the back floor underneath. It shows all the seatbelt anchors all welded in. And this next photograph shows nearly 70 individual holes drilled, ready to plug weld this floor in to the frame of the truck. So the back of the floor is just sitting in for the moment, all clamped in. And I've also got a whole heap of tech screws just holding it nice and flat. I've got it bolted into the chassis there as well. And it's time to start plug welding all of these little holes all the way around. So let's get started.
there's 65 welds. We've got another 65 to go on the front piece here. All these welds turned out really good. I'm really happy with them. Time to move on to this front section, which might be a little bit harder because I've got to climb up in there and get all along there done as well. Maybe I should take this pedal out first. Well, I've got all the front section of this floor in now and it's time to do the same thing. Plug weld all of these holes. Here we go. Well, there's a whole heap of plug welds done. I even got some welds done here in the joint in the floor. I've still got to get up under the dash here and weld up the firewall. There's some little plug holes here that I've got to do and I want to put a little bit of stitch welding along here. I've also got to join this plate which holds the brake booster on to the floor just to stiffen it up a bit more. Got to get over here as well and put some stitch welds there. And I also want to put some stitch welding right across the back here on the floor. So I'll get onto that now too. Well, I've got all these stitch welds done right across the back of the floor here. And also got some stitch welds and some plug welds up and around here. But there's this little bit right here that's causing a little bit of grief. Um, I just physically can't get up in there with the two hands. So what I'll do with the join here between the floor and the brake booster stiffening plate is MIG weld it up instead.
still a really hard position for me to lean in. I mean, it looks easy enough, I guess, but it's just not. Anyway, that's done. That'll work. For all this floor, I'm done for the day. Time to pack it all up. And to finish this floor off, I've just painted it up with some more black miracle paint. That just finishes it off. <laughs> 